So apparently we have some breaking news, as it were. Uh, now, let me preface everything by saying that this is coming out on April 1st. So this could all be just one big joke, uh, an elaborate ruse. But it might not be, right? Because then I would think that it would be a lot of effort on the part of these websites that are reporting this to do this kind of mass <laughs> joke on the internet and the public at large, right? To go to these links to try to pull this kind of um, April Fool's Day joke on people, which it very well could be. Maybe they wanted to troll the internet. I don't know. It's possible. But um, this could all be just one big hoax for all we know, once again, right? It's another situation where we're questioning the legitimacy of something, but uh, it might be real. But let's let's read on here. Now, this is the article from The Hollywood Reporter. I'll link it in the description below for those of you that want to read it for yourselves. We all know what happened. Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Academy Awards uh, this past Sunday. Uh, some people thought it was real. Some people thought it was fake. I thought it was it, it was possibly fake, but apparently it turned out that it wasn't, that it wasn't pre-planned or scripted beforehand. He really did slap him in the face um, and was really upset. And then later on, uh, we all know what happened, right? Will Smith ends up winning an Oscar for his performances as uh, Richard Williams in uh, the movie King Richard and then was blubbering about wanting to be uh, this vehicle for love or whatever it was that he said. I, I don't really care either way. Now, regardless of what side you stand on in this, whether you're supporting Will Smith or not, um, look, I think that you should conduct yourself more professionally. I think that he should have not hit Chris Rock over that joke. It was a pretty tame joke. Even if he was offended on behalf of his wife, there was better ways to handle it, in my opinion. And I think that he could have done so. But that's neither here nor there. So now they're saying Will Smith resigns from Academy after inexcusable actions at Oscars. The actor says he is heartbroken but will accept any further consequence after slapping Chris Rock at the 2022 awards show. So it says here, um, in the... In the wake of the slapping Chris Rock uh, of slapping Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars, Will Smith said Friday that he is resigning from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Uh, you know, it's it again. It's happening on April first. So could you imagine at the end of all this, right, of whatever it is that he says, he says, "Psych." You know. So it says in a statement obtained by the Hollywood Reporter, Smith said he was heartbroken and would accept all consequences for his conduct during Sunday ceremony. My actions at the 94th Academy Awards presentation were shocking, painful, and inexcusable. The list of those I have heard is long and includes Chris and his family, many of my dear friends and loved ones, all those in attendance and global audiences at home, Smith said. I betrayed the trust of the Academy. I deprived other nominees and winners of their opportunities, opportunity to celebrate and be celebrated for their extraordinary work. I am heartbroken. I want to put the focus back on those who deserve attention for their achievements and allow the Academy to get back to the incredible work it does to support creativity and artistry in film. Earlier this week, the Academy Award or the Academy began disciplinary action against Smith after a meeting of its board of governors and issued a statement saying Smith was asked to leave the show following the slap, but that he refused. The statement didn't provide details, but also acknowledged that the Academy could have handled the situation differently. One board member told THR that it still wasn't made clear who asked Smith to leave or the sequence of events. Yeah. And, I had heard about this too, that he was asked to leave. Uh, I Presumably, it was probably during the commercial break, uh, somebody from the Academy came up and said, hey, but uh, he refused. And I believe the reason why they didn't really press the situation was because they felt that he was, I guess, in some kind of vulnerable state and that he might actually cause a bigger scene if they tried to forcibly remove him. So, and there was, you know, the intervention, of course, of other actors like Denzel and Tyler Perry kind of coming and talking with him and stuff like that. And I guess diffusing, I would assume diffusing some things or probably lobbying on, on Will Smith's behalf to make sure that he wouldn't get kicked out, whatever the case may be. Just uh, the whole thing was uh, pretty bizarre, in my opinion. Um, and uh, the fact that people after the afterwards, you know, got up and, and applauded him, that was... That was a little surreal, but it, it is what it is. Um, so we have that it says here, uh, Smith's resignation means he can no longer vote for the Oscars, uh, but he can still be nominated for future Academy Awards, attend future ceremonies, and keep the statue he won. Still, the Academy's 
formal review will continue. We have received and accepted Mr. Uh, will Smith's immediate resignation from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science Sciences. Uh, the Academy said in a statement, we will continue to move forward with our disciplinary proceedings against Mr. Smith for violation of the Academy's standards of conduct in advance for our next scheduled board meeting on April 18th. Look, to me, it feels like a lot of it is performative. You know, even his apology after the fact, um, I think he should have apologized the night of for, for hitting Chris Rock. But that's, again, just my opinion. He, he kind of did just a bit of a blanket apology. Um, but the whole thing shouldn't have happened, in my opinion. It just shouldn't have happened. He should have conducted himself with more professionalism if it was something, again, that he was offended on his wife's behalf or whatever. And there's even videos, I think, that people are even sharing, I, I think, of an Instagram post where Jada Pinkett Smith talked about her um, her condition and not really caring that what people had to say about her not having hair. She seemed to be pretty okay with it. Didn't seem claims that it didn't bother her. But of course, as we know, that doesn't mean that it doesn't actually bother her. She could just be saying that, but these are people that put their business out there publicly. So if they're saying stuff like this and presuming, let's presume Chris Rock knew, I, I don't know if he did or didn't know, but let's say he did know if she's out there on her social media saying, Hey, this doesn't bother me at all. I, I actually kind of like it. I like having a shaved head. So I'm cool with it. So whatever people have to say, I don't care. I'm good. I'm comfortable with myself. I like it. It's whatever. So if you keep that in mind, and if we presume that Chris Rock did know, then really the joke shouldn't have offended anybody. It shouldn't have been to that point where he got slapped for it by Will Smith or Jada Pinkett Smith getting angry over the situation, right? So again, it is what it is. It happened. Can't go back and change it. Um, again, this news is coming out. I'll remind you all on April 1st, on April Fool's Day, so it could all be one big elaborate ruse. But the whole thing of him having a investigation done or whatever, um, them, them looking into the matter, right? That is all true. That That is all something that has been happening that we've been hearing about. But let me continue on with this uh, article here. So we have received... Uh, okay. We're past that part. So the actor said in his statement Friday that he has responded to the Academy's disciplinary hearing notice and will fully accept any and all consequences for his conduct. Rock was presenting Best Documentary Feature at the 2022 Oscars on Sunday when he made a G.I. Jane joke about Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, who has, uh, who has a shaved head. The actress has alopecia. Uh, after returning to his seat, Smith shouted at The Rock to keep his wife's name out of his effing mouth. Later in the show, while accepting the Oscar for Best Actor for his performance at King Richard, Smith made a tearful apology to the Academy and fellow nominees, but it wasn't until Monday in an Instagram post that Smith apologized to Rock. Rock has remained mostly silent, telling the audience at his comedy show in Boston on Wednesday night, I'm still kind of processing what happened, so at some point I'll talk about that shit, but, uh, and it'll uh, be serious and it'll be funny. In an interview that aired Friday on Good Morning America, the producer of the 2022 Oscars telecast, Will Packer, said he initially thought Smith smacking Rock was a bit until Rock came backstage and confirmed that he had really been hit. Once I saw Will yelling at, at uh, the stage with such vitriol, my heart dropped. And I just remember thinking, oh, no, oh, no, not like this. Recalled Packer. Still, uh, Chris was keeping his head uh, when everyone else was losing theirs. Packer said Rock insisted he was fine and refused to press charges when approached by the LAPD. Yeah, and that's not surprising because I didn't think that Chris Rock would um, press charges for it. You know, I think he would he would kind of take it on the chin. <laughs> you know, no pun intended. Uh, the whole situation. But, uh, yeah, it was just, it was just, I think the things probably would have been different if Chris Rock did decide to press charges. I think then you would have seen a uh, potential for Will Smith, maybe even losing the, the Oscar and things like that. Maybe there would have been more potential for something like that happening. I said this on a live stream. I, I don't think that there was going to be any kind of c scenario that I saw where Will Smith would actually lose the Academy Award for, uh, for what he did. Uh, given the situation and uh, should he or shouldn't he that's that's really up to y'all to decide I don't I'll be honest I don't care either way like I said I I don't agree with what he did but um, I didn't think I didn't think they would go as far as to like take the Oscar from him like I said I think that would have changed if Chris Rock had decided to press charges and um, there was like an apology that was put out there that apparently wasn't actually Chris Rock's um, apology it, it were you know I've come to find out he hasn't I think addressed it as of yet officially. I could be wrong. Maybe as of the time of this recording, maybe he has. I don't know, but um, it, it doesn't seem that way. So there's a lot of stuff still surrounding this. And um, if this is true, right? 
that he resigns from the Academy. Like I said, I still don't think he's going to lose his Oscar. It doesn't seem like that. I mean, maybe they might just to make an example out of him, but, um, I don't know. I, I think he's going to keep it <clears throat> despite this. I think this is just another thing where he's being performative and trying to be a little bit of a martyr, trying to do the right thing, right? Make himself look good in the scenario um, because it, it was a situation, in my opinion, that made him look pretty bad, although there was some people that were agreeing with it. I I don't know, man. I didn't like it. I thought it made him look bad. I, um, and I think there's blame to go around. I think uh, there's people that are trying to make it a thing of like, oh, don't blame Will, blame Jada. I say they're both responsible, equally responsible because they've been putting their business out there. So, I mean, people are going to make fun of it. Um, it is what it is, whether it be something personal like, the fact that you're losing hair because of your condition, alopecia, or them, you know, their their marital affairs, right? That they've both addressed very publicly. Uh, it's fair game. They're putting it out there. I mean, they could have just as easily just um, not waded into that territory by throwing in their two cents about it. Now, granted, um, I know people would still talk. There's always going to be rumor, but they could have, like, denied <laughs> this stuff and people it would be just up in the air right for people to decide i mean but they decided to address these things publicly i mean you gotta you gotta take it uh get i guess you gotta take it how you give it sometimes not that i'm saying that they're necessarily going around trying to talk about other people like that but it's just like but they should know by now being in the industry as long as both of them have been that you know, people are going to talk. Some of the things that people say will be true. Some sometimes they won't. There's always going to be rumors, regardless. It's it's kind of part of uh, being a public figure. So, it is what it is. I don't know if this is true. Like I said, we'll fi- I guess we'll find out tomorrow if this is really all true or not. If this is something that's going to stick. But ultimately, I don't think that it leads to him giving up his Oscar or anything like that. I think he's going to still get to keep that. I'd be really surprised if he turns it in. I guess that would be another moment for him to kind of martyr himself in the situation by giving up his oscar but i doubt that that it's going to happen but anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment section below until next time y'all know how it goes the hunt continues